Hello guys! In this video we are going to take a closer look at this Dell PowerEdge 2900. Hopefully we will we'll be actually able to power this thing on and maybe install an operating system on it. We will see. But from the start I need to say this thing is extremely heavy. Annoyingly heavy. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do before I am able to take it to my workbench, let me just show you this. Uh, I'm going to start uh, taking away the hard drives if they actually want to come out. The light isn't ideal here so sorry about that, let me just show you what hard drives we can find in here some uh, pretty nice uh, SCSI drives 146 gigabytes at uh, 15,000 RPM and they are lots of them all the same and all really heavy I don't know I think these two are actually empty. Yeah, these two are empty. Don't know if you can see something in here actually. These are drives, let me just show you. Yeah, all of these are drives. So I'm going to take this out and let's get to the other side of this thing it has two huge PSUs so these are also really heavy let me just see if we can take them out yep they are out let's see how powerful they are uh, where is it? Where is it? I'm 99%. Yes, they are. They are sorry, 930 watts. So yeah, two of them. You can see the connectors there, the fan. This thing probably will be really noisy. So I'm going to take this uh, PSU, PSU's. Uh, out also hopefully I can make this uh, light enough for me to be able to put it onto my workbench lots of expansion slots yeah let's try and lift this thing now it's on my workbench and I'm struggling to film it even with uh, the wide angle adapter on my RX100 and maybe you can hear from my voice this was hard to, to get in here, even with uh, hard drives and uh, power supplies removed. So let's try and open it. Even this thing alone by, uh, alone by itself, what stupid things I'm saying, even this thing uh, by itself it's really heavy and I cannot get it out with one hand or can I? yeah somehow did it in the end okay a ton of uh, fans in here of course floppy it has an optical drive some more fans most likely for the memory but I have no idea how to take this out so you can see the memory huge uh, heat sinks for the CPUs of course this fan is for the expansion slots and we have uh, I think this is a SCSI adapter and something else in here which goes to the drives so probably this is uh, another adapter or some kind of uh, riser board not really sure about that uh, I've dealt with some servers before but uh, 
this seems to be a bit uh, different. It's looking good inside, it's really clean, unusually clean for uh, computers that I normally deal with. Let me give you a bird's eye view of this thing. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and take some of the plastics off so you can see better and be back in a moment. Okay, I opened it up a bit more. You can leave this thing to add the cards. Let's put it back. Don't know if it should it clip. Yeah, it might not clip in position. It just uh, is pushed by the side panel. It's, I didn't took them out. I don't know if there's a reason. Let's try and take them out now. Okay. As you can see on the connector there in the corner, all of these are uh, modular, so it's really easy to take them out. If you know how to do it. Obviously I don't. And they have uh, guides right in the middle there. So they fit uh, pretty well in position. And uh, yeah, it has 4 gigs of memory. The CPUs I don't really remember, 99% some uh, Xeons. But uh, yeah, the model we will see when we power this thing on. Let me just set this aside. Okay, connector for the floppy, connector for front, uh, front panel. Uh, this goes to the PSU from what I saw. This all coming from the PSU. Lots of power needed here. And yeah. It has some uh, SATAs right there, if you can see. And of course, these cables uh, go to the hard drives. But weirdly enough, this one was unplugged. So I plugged it back in. And a lot of power comes to the hard drives, of course. And yeah. Underneath, maybe you can see it's the board from the PSU. And something here, which I have no clue what it is. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get uh, this thing started. It's that simple. Okay, everything is plugged in and I'm going to power it on. I already powered it on to do some uh, quick settings. Uh, but beware, this thing is loud. It is really, really loud. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I can turn down the volume on the rest of the video when it is powered on. So, let's do this. Okay, we are uh, inside the right uh, utility. You can see number of drives. I've set up uh, a uh, right uh, level 5 array because it's fast but uh, quite safe. Uh, let me just show you if you, I can see you some uh, show you some info. This is it. So, let's uh, go into the BIOS now. If I can actually... nope, sorry. I need to shut it down because I can't reach it with my left hand to reset it.
as I said before this thing is really loud And as always, uh, servers do take some time to power on or enter the BIOS in our case, so yeah, we need to wait a little bit. Okay, so let's go to the memory information. You can see 4 gigabytes. Video memory 16 megabytes, it's a server, it doesn't need powerful uh, GPU inside. And the CPU info. We have two 4 uh, core at 3 gigahertz uh, Xeons X6450. Uh, Pretty decent CPUs in my opinion. A bit older at this point, but... Uh, I think they are still uh, still relevant for uh, for lots of things. Let me just see if I can add my uh, my drive. The annoying thing it's uh, that I cannot. Okay, sorry, I couldn't find the the plus key because on my keyboard. To make a plus you need to press shift and plus but uh, it sometimes doesn't work but in the end it worked with this so yeah this should be good save changes and next I search uh, my Windows 10 installation disk uh, just to see if everything is working properly of course this thing probably will never be used uh, with Windows 10 because I'm going to sell it and uh, yeah, I need to, to make sure it is working before I cancel it. Until now it all seems to be working normally. Windows is installing, but because I'm installing from the optical drive, it is a bit slow. I'm really curious to see when uh, it's all uh, installed, uh, how fast uh, it loads, how fast it works, and give the hard drives uh, some tests, and the CPU again some tests. Yeah, we'll play around a bit after the Windows installs. Okay, as you can see, Windows 10 is installed. Everything uh, is running perfectly. Drivers all installed. I did a Cine uh, Cinebench sorry, run. Pretty decent score. Uh, this is uh, one of the CPUs. This is the second one. So yeah, I did a test uh, on the hard drive array, the right uh, 5, pretty nice uh, speeds here, of course uh, some are better than my SSD, but uh, some are worse than my SSD, but anyway, for mechanical hard drives uh, this is uh, really good, and yeah, what can I say, it's running perfectly, Nothing seems to have absolutely any issues, and uh, yeah, this is about it for this video. It's a server, I, I'm not going to do more on it. You could use it as a standard desktop computer if you put a graphics card uh, in it, some memory, but because it's uh, quite loud and quite big and heavy, this time I don't think this one uh, particularly is uh, worth it to be used as a standard uh, desktop. So yeah, what can I say? Thanks for watching, like, dislike, uh, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos and see you again in the next one. Bye!